In the previous tutorial, um, I showed you how to put a simple if statement inside um, the product controller to determine if a value was valid or not. And that's really not a good way to do it. Um, it's better to put your business rules in with the model. And um, I'd like to show you how you can accomplish that um, in this tutorial. First, let's see how this works. Um, I've only done it to the, uh, the create new um, uh, screen. So um, we've got a product name here. Um, let's just put gobbledygook in there. And um, uh, quantity per unit, let's say it comes in a carton. And now I've got an, uh, an error condition that says unit price must be uh, uh, greater than or equal to 1. So I'm going to put a 0 here for the unit price. Let's put something in here like um, 8 for the units in stock. And um, let's put uh, 8 for on order. And I'm going to put a negative number for my reorder level. And um, notice I've put a checkbox here instead of a, a text box. So let's uh, leave it uh, not discontinued, which means it's continued. Let's attempt to create this, and you'll notice we get some errors. It says the unit price is too low, so that refers to unit price. It says that reorder level can't be less than zero, and you see that the unit, um, excuse me, reorder level cannot be less than zero, and here's the reorder level that is less than zero. So let me correct that, and let's put a reorder level of 7 in here. And now let's mark the uh, item as discontinued and try to create it again. And now you will see another error. Uh, it repeated the first error, but it says discontinued product um, must have a zero reorder level. In other words, you can't have a reorder level if you have it discontinued. So those are the three error checks that we're making um, in this application. Uh, the two are simple single field checks, and the second is a combination uh, field checks. So I'd like to show you how, um, how this was done. Um, I'm going to, uh, it's mostly going to be a little chalk talk. I'm going to show you some, uh, some classes and interfaces that I created to make this happen. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and terminate this um, and uh, come back with um, my little chalk talk for you.